Hi everyone, today we're going to look at a little introduction to PSPP, which is the free software version of IBM's SPSS. So I'm assuming that you've already downloaded it, and if you're having trouble downloading it, let me know and we can try to figure out what's going on. But the PSPP uh, symbol here it looks like a pie chart, so we're just going to open it, and we come up to what's called the data editor. So from here is where we can either do a new data set, we can open an existing saved data set, or we can import a data set from some other program such as Excel. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new one. So if I didn't already have the blank spot here, I would just do file new data. But I already have a blank one here, so I'm just going to use this. So you can click this little rectangle here and you can input your first um, data value. So let's just do some scores for, say, a math test. So someone got 100, someone got an 80, someone got a 90, someone got a 30. And every time you hit enter, it comes up with a new case here, so you can keep adding more until you're done, and a new variable over here. So if I wanted to do another variable, say a different test score, I could start inputting them here. Oops. Let's try that again. Now they're automatically labeled variable 1, variable 2, and so forth. And if you don't like that, and who really does, we can change it by going down to the bottom where it says variable view. So I can click that, and now here I can just click it and enter a different grade, so a different um, variable name. So test 1. Um, it doesn't like spaces. That's right. So we'll do test 1 and test 2 without any spaces. And then I can go back to my data view and it will have changed the variable names. Test 1, test 2. So that is how you create your own data set. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to File and Import Data. So sometimes you'll be given data in another format. Um, for instance, Excel. So I'm going to go here to a CSV file that I have that I would generally use Excel for. I'm going to just click it and then hit next. And now the first thing that comes up is amount to import. And I'm going to do all cases. You could do so many of the first cases, you could do a percentage. Generally, you're going to want all cases. So I'm going to hit next. This next part here is where you tell uh, PSPP where the data itself starts. So my first line, if you notice, are my variables. The ID, the gender, the race, SES, the socioeconomic status, and so forth. So my first line of data is line 1, which is the second line here. So I click that, and down at the bottom it says line above selected line contains variable names which is true, right? my first line, line 0, are my variable names. So I'm going to click that, and then click Next. And then up here are the options for, depending on what type of file I'm importing, how it separates the data values. So for CSVs, it's a comma, which is already clicked off for us. And if you notice, these are my genders, these are my races, these are my socioeconomic statuses, and so forth. So it looks good. I'm going to click Next. And if anything didn't look good, I could start editing it in here if I wanted. But it does, so I'm going to hit Apply. And open that one up. And here is my data set. Over here is what's called the Output Viewer. And we're going to see what happens to that once we actually do some statistics. So in here, what we're going to look at today is the Analyze button at the top. So we click Analyze, and then we're going to look at Descriptive Statistics, and move over to Frequencies. And I'll just move this up. So the first question is, what variables are we going to be looking at? And you can choose um, different ones. So I'll choose Race, which is a categorical data. Right, You're either um, white, African American, Hispanic or Asian. And I'm also going to do the math score. So these are test scores for various high school students. 
So race is categorical, math is numerical. Right? You have all these different numbers here. And PSPP knows that. It knows that race is categorical. It knows that math is numerical. So when I go here to the statistics, and it's saying I can calculate the mean, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, and all these other different things, it's only going to calculate those for which it makes sense. So it's only going to find the average, the standard deviation, for the numerical uh, variables, so in this case the math variables. We're going to click the button called Charts, and we can draw a histogram. And again, a histogram is only true, uh, it only makes sense for numerical values. And I'm also going to do a pie chart. So I'm going to click Continue, and then I'm going to hit the Frequency Tables button. And I can either do always, never, or if no more than so many values. So I'm going to click that one, and I'm going to change the 50 to a 20. So as long as there aren't, oops, as long as there are no more than 20 different values, then the frequency table will appear. If there's more than 20 different values, it's not going to make a frequency table. And then here you can order it, ascending value, descending value, ascending frequency, descending frequency. So I'm going to click descending frequency so that the most frequent values at the top and the, the least frequent values are at the bottom. Click OK. And then click OK. Now over here in the output viewer is where all these things come up. So if I scroll down, the first thing I have is my frequency table for my race. So there are only four values, white, Hispanic, African American, and Asian. So it did create my frequency table. Here are my frequencies, ordered in descending order. It also gives me the percentages and the cumulative percentages. Next is the pie chart. So if we notice, the um, white section here that's in yellow is 72.5% of my circle. And then the same is true for the Hispanic, the African American, and the Asian. It corresponds to the percentages in my frequency table. And if I scroll down, I now am looking at the math variable. And again, math is numerical, so it makes sense to figure out these values here. So the n is the number of entries. There are 200 entries, and there are zero missing entries, so there's no um, blank spaces in my data, data set. Then we have the mean, the standard deviation, the minimum, and the maximum. Next is the histogram. And again, this is a numerical variable, so the histogram makes sense. It's going by every five, if we notice down here. And again, it gives us the standard deviation, the mean, and the number of cases. And then it also gives us the pie chart, which looks a little crazy because there are so many different um, values for the math score. So that's kind of useless, but it does come up there also. Okay, so this is just a little introduction to PSPP. I would suggest playing around with it. Create your own data sets. See what you can figure out. Can you, do you know how to do a frequency table? Do you know how to do the histogram? Do you know how to do a bar chart? Etc. So all the things that we've learned so far, see if you can figure out how to do them and it could make the homework a lot easier if you're doing having PSPP do the math instead of you doing the math. Okay, so play around with it and let me know if you have any questions.